Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody. Come on in here, Harry. Today is day two of our December Christmas crunch. And today, you guys, is crunch time because today is an OMAD day and we are lowering the calories to rock bottom on today. It's basically kind of a modified fasting day. Try to eat no more than 500 calories or somewhere right in between 500 and 600 calories. Now listen, our Christmas crunch challenge is you can modify it for your specific needs. You can switch the days. You can, if you can't eat 500 calories to 600 calories, take off 100 calories, take off 200 calories. Everybody has their own unique circumstances. If you're type 2 diabetic, you have to eat, you have, uh, you're hypoglycemic, you're new to the diet, and your body hasn't um, started burning fat for fuel. I want you guys to modify today, but if you are a long time, you're in a stall, you keep bouncing between the same three pounds, I would suggest getting as close to 500 calories as possible today, and make it mostly a protein day. Eat your protein. Protein's the most important thing you guys can eat. If you eat a fatty piece of meat or you eat a piece of chicken thigh or a drumstick with the skin on, you're getting the fat too. Or do like we do, we eat that crust of fat on our steak that gets all bubbly and crusty and delicious. Oh, I like that you know, part. Use your bone broth today, you guys. If you're new and you don't know how to make delicious bone broth, you guys, there are lots of recipes out there for bone broth. I have several on um, our vlogs. You can go and find it. Harry can link one uh, to the end of our video on how to make bone broth. I'm going to make bone broth today. Yeah, let's go. So with let's that. watch that. Okay, I'll make bone broth today because I think we just didn't. You just used the last bone broth, Harry. I think you did. And he wants bone broth today. Yeah, I want it today. Sure. So we'll make some. And it's going to take how long to make it? Well, we put it ours in a pressure cooker. Yeah. If you have a crock pot, you need to do it overnight. So I do mine in a pressure cooker. So I'll share all that with everybody. But first of all, I want to share with everybody. Listen, if you're having a weight stall or you're having problems losing water weight, you're retaining water, it's because of everything you did the day before, sometimes two days prior. Any new over-the-counter medicines. We're in cold and flu season besides the zombie apocalypse lockdown virus right? Your kids are getting sick, you know, cold and flu, all that good stuff. Well, read the labels because a lot of that, especially liquid products, have sugar, hidden sugars in it because there's 56 different names for sugar. So research, look at the carb, you know, intake and, and Google it if you need to. Figure out why, because everything that you eat or drink Lack of sleep, stress in your life can all be a factor. Inflammation, hidden inflammation, they can all be a factor as why you are on a weight stall or why you're not losing weight. Or you're doing the carb creep. So that's something to watch too, you guys. If you're not tracking and you're stalled, please start tracking. Start tracking and I would track for about three months and see where you're at because you'll be surprised. Way measure and track. Whenever you are in a weight stall, weigh, measure, track. Simple as that. And you guys, hop on board the December um, Christmas crunch trading with everybody. We're, we're going to have some awesome results. I just know it because you guys, November's kicking it up a notch challenge, which was a huge success. And so many of you lost so much weight and you guys broke your stall and all those things. So anyway, with that. Yesterday, what did Harry and I do? Mom took us to the Olive Garden, you guys, for dinner. For lunch, I had just a cold cross-cut steak. I love cold steak. A good piece of steak is really good cold, and that's what I had. Harry had ground chuck plus the rest of the broccoli casserole. Mm -hmm. Now, I like using leftovers. I don't throw leftovers away. So whatever I make, we have to eat. Somebody that's gets true. to eat it, and that's true. That's but only it's keto stuff. It's all keto stuff. Yeah. Correct. So we went to the Olive Garden and I googled the herbed grilled salmon Olive Garden. 
And so that's what I use. Now, what I'm not sure of is if it's just the entree that they're giving you the calories for or the whole meal that would include the broccoli. So I counted additional broccoli because I was not sure. I also got the Olive Garden serving of salad with the dressing. And I did that for Harry too. He had the chicken, it's grilled chicken margarita at the Olive Garden. I wasn't sure if it included the broccoli, so I added it as well. So we may have more carbs than we actually ingested. And then the salad with the dressing, and I used the Olive Garden, Garden serving portion because you can't weigh your portion when you're there. We had salad, mom took salad, uh, leftover salad, and mom, Harry and I shared the salad. So we each had a serving. So we came home and had, right away, we had our uh, keto chocolate toffee ice cream and we had our scoop of collagen sweet coffee with it because you guys, this ice cream is so cold, your mouth is so numb, you have to have coffee, huh, Marty? Oh yeah. You have to have coffee to make your tongue work because your mouth's not working because it's that cold. So we had a delicious meal. We had a really good time out. Uh, my mom enjoyed getting out and being just going somewhere and doing something because she's been sequestered now for almost a year. If we tell her she can't go, she doesn't go. So anyway, based on this and the extra broccoli I added, not sure whether Olive Garden is just the entree or not in my Fitbit, we had 8% carbs for a total of 25.9 grams, but fiber on this because of the broccoli and the salad was 12.4 grams. Normally we are total car, uh, carb people, but I wanted to share the fiber content because it still kept us at 20 grams or less total carbs, not total carbs, pardon me, net carbs. Total carbs, 25.9, so 26, 20, 12 of that, so half of that was fiber. 57% fat for a total of 77.6 grams, 35% protein for a total of 106.4 grams. I couldn't finish all my salmon. Mom took a little bit of it home. Total calories were 1,252. So based on whether or not the broccoli was added to the Olive Guard, when, when you look up the chicken margarita, if it includes just the entree or the entire meal that's on your plate, the way they serve it to you, he had 8% carbs for a total of 35.3 grams. Fiber was 13.4. So his net carbs were much lower, you guys. They were 22, well, 21 grams, give or take. 62% fat for a total of 114.9 grams. 30% protein for 123.6 grams. Total calories were 1,663. Now... Something I want to share about Harry and I, we are mostly keto bore. We do not eat a lot of vegetables. Harry tends to bloat. He loves broccoli. I love broccoli. I love Brussels sprouts, but when we eat those, we tend to bloat and get gassy and tend to retain some water weight. Anytime we go to a restaurant, we tend to gain a little bit of water weight because I think it's the table salt that they're using to season their food. And I think there's hidden stuff in there, but that's just me. So I didn't gain or lose anything, stayed the same, but Harry went up eight tenths. Now remember, he had that loaded broccoli. He had all those things, but he wants to go over that on the big board with everybody. So he wants to explain why he thinks he went up and I'm gonna let him do that. So yeah, I went up eight tenths of a pound so why do we do that? Well, let's go look over here. I kind of, there's three things that I had that day or yesterday. I had uh, the chicken at the Olive Garden. I had a salad at the Olive Garden. And I had the broccoli salad leftover that Wendy made. Now, out of those three. Broccoli salad? You mean broccoli casserole? Yeah, okay. Broccoli casserole. I got to change that to casserole. Okay. And you had the salad at Olive Garden. Yeah, that's what I said. Salad right here, Olive Garden. See it? And broccoli. Uh-huh. Ooh. So you look, I had 60, uh, my calories was 1,663. And the week, or the day before that, it was 1,238. And the day before that, it was 1,271. So I'm not saying that the calories, this, usually these 
when I'm in between here, I lose weight. No problem. Right. So, but I went up. So you have to go, why? Because I know that these figures, the fat, the protein, the fat, the protein, if you look, it all I lose weight on this, pretty much around this area right in there. So, so it's got to be the food. What is the difference? Well, we know it's not the fat, the protein, and the calories. So you have to look at the food. And so we all know that when I eat salad, I'll gain a pound, pound and a half. Right. Usually. Bloat. Bloat. So I'm pretty much thinking it's probably the salad. And the broccoli. And, yeah, because that's quite a bit of broccoli there also. Right. Uh, and in the my broccoli casserole, I remember I cooked mine with cheese and sour cream, a yeah, lot of dairy. Thing. I had quite a bit of cheese yesterday. Yes, you did, because they put cheese on our salad, uh, cheese, a little bit of steak And grated. I got a headache started. Yes, you do. So what Ooh, I'm Ooh, you doing, do, don't you? Yes. So come here. So what I'm doing here, I'm putting the, what's, look at this red H-A. That means headache. All right. I'm putting that down because I want to know what I ate the day before. I'm going to start keeping record of this to see if it could be a food problem. Because I've been checked by... Uh, You've had neurologists. I've had neurologists look at this. They've all did all kind of brain scans. They've done everything to try to find out why I'm having these headaches. They said, oh, everything's fine. So Take Tylenol. See me. Take, take <laughs> Tylenol. The only thing I got was one doctor who wanted to take needles and shove them up way up here and way up here and and shoot that uh what is it cortisone cortisone, cortisone in there and i'm no 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 i don't want that because cortisone actually after time causes holes to form in the bone and it actually causes them to weaken and it's not as good for you so i said no on that so i figured well i said know, no too yeah and wendy said no too so I'm trying to find out the reason. There's a reason why I'm having these headaches. And your headaches last how many days, Harry? Three days exactly. All of them always last exactly three So if it's days. 72 hours to get the food and everything out of your body, mm -hmm. maybe there's something so, they're using as a preservative or some right. kind of seasoning even that you're having an uh, audio, not autoimmune, uh, uh, inflammation, yeah, hidden it's inflammation, inflammation from, and it's reason. going up to your head. So I'm going to start watching this now. I'm going to have this headache till Friday. I already know that. I'm going to have you it. Took time this is going to be today. a bad day, and then this is it's going to go away here, and it'll be gone on Saturday. Because that's how it works. It always works exactly the same. Can you write December right there? Oh, yeah. That helps, Forgot. doesn't it? Yeah, December. He's got much prettier handwriting than I. Well, well that's a little C. <laughs> about that. Okay, that's good. That's okay. good. Just so people know. Yeah. Just so people know. All right. All right. So anyway, that's my talk for today. I'm done. Okay. You're done. I'm not. Anyway, um, we're going to move the board because that's where I like to cook my uh, bone broth. And we'll be right back in just a minute. Uh, losing my pants again. Harry, I mean it. We're going to go get those suspenders out of your drawer. And uh -uh, I'm not wearing them damn things again. I used to have to <gasps> wear those all the time. Beep, beep. Be careful. That's all I wore say. when I was really fat. I had to well, wear suspenders. Well, you were kind of round, and so you had Kinda? to... Kind of? Yeah. Well, you were just... I was an egg with legs. <laughs> Pretty much, that's my shape. I had little teeny legs and... But you wore suspenders to keep your pants off. I had to because there was nothing to hold them up. Anyway, you guys, we'll come back and we'll make some bone broth. Everybody, I have a bag of chicken bones and I pour the sauce or the juice and the co co coagulation that is in the bottom of a rotisserie chicken when you buy it and I put it in the bag because I'm telling you that's the good stuff that you guys want. Is that fat or collagen? Or what? Uh, just a mixture. mixture of both. Now, let me see if I can get that down in there. It'll it'll come apart. It'll settle. I, mean, I know it will. It'll settle. Let me put this over here. So, you guys, anytime you guys are making onion or, or garlic or you're doing carrots or celery or you have product kale or anything like that, put it and it's starting to get wilty um, or, or soft. Chop it into pieces. Throw it in just a bag and put it in the freezer and when you guys are ready to make your bone broth take that out you don't even have to chop it up just throw it in and it makes a wonderful garnet it makes a wonderful flavor because you're going to strain this anyway 
Now, I, usually you put it in. I don't, I don't have any. You don't have any this I time. I used no. it, but what I also do, and I learned how to do this back in Washington State because we lived 28 miles from the base of Mount Rainier on the uh, volcano evacuation route on Ordi Kapowson Highway. If anybody is from Washington, you guys will know right where that's at in Graham. And uh, we would get power outages at least twice in the winter, I would say, oh, yeah. and sometimes for, for a, a week. week or two. Yeah. So I had uh, <clears throat> shelf staple foods, and I have a lot of dried food products. Um, because of that, I need to get a measuring spoon. Um, I don't eat that many vegetables, so we have this and it stays really nice and it's long shelf life and then when you need it you've got it i've got chopped celery it's all right here i'm just going to put a, a nice generous tablespoon of celery in there because i like the taste of celery in my broth this is actually carrots and red bell pepper i mixed them when i had just a little bit of the red bell pepper left i like the taste of the carrots it gives us a sweetness i'm just putting a generous scoop in there I even have sliced dried garlic, you guys. It's so nice because then I don't have to have garlic in my refrigerator. Now, I don't use a whole, I just put about that much, about half a tablespoon, a couple cloves worth. You know, garlic's pretty potent. I even have dried mushrooms. This is the Wild Mushroom Company. You can get it on uh, Amazon.com. I'm just going to grab a handful of these dried mushrooms and put the mushrooms are super health benefits from mushroom juice. So even if you don't like eating mushrooms because of the consistency, they add a meaty, nutty flavor to your bone broth. So if it's a consistency issue, then I would suggest putting some in for flavor. I have uh, Frontier Co-op Organic Poultry Season, and this is Sage Thyme Onion. So it's got some onion in it. I'm not putting a whole tablespoon, about that much, three quarters of a tablespoon. And then I absolutely love, love, love the Kirk Kirkland Organic No Salt Seasoning. It has 21 different herbs in there. Okay, and spices with no salt, so you're not getting table salt with it. You're just getting the good ingredients, and I'm just going to use a level tablespoon of that. Mmm, smells so good. It's got everything. It's absolutely delicious, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Now... I've got Redmond's Real Salt, and it's this one is the coarse sea salt, and it doesn't matter that it's coarse because it'll melt down. I'm going to use two tablespoons because you guys want your bone broth to be slightly salty. We like salt. We love it. it this is going to help you guys with your electrolytes when you guys are fasting. When you're using bone broth to push you through, you need the salt and the electrolytes. And I'm telling you, I buy plain bone broth and it's good, it's organic, it's just chicken broth with no salt, no nothing in it and Harry says it's nasty because you need the salt for flavor. Oh, I'm used to having... You need the salt for flavor. Then I always, you guys, when we lived in Washington, we were on a well, we had wonderful water well. We live in Phoenix and we have city water. It's terrible. So I get water and use it and the actually a best the best water would be to get distilled water and the reason for that is distilled water is stripped of everything so it goes looking for minerals and it actually helps leach the minerals out of the bones which is what we want so you need to add some apple cider vinegar to this why is that Apple cider vinegar is acidic and it actually, this is the raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother. It helps leach or pull out the vitamins and minerals that are trapped in the bones because we want that to go out into the broth. So I put three tablespoons 
in here. You, it doesn't taste vinegary. It adds a nice flavor to everything, doesn't it, Harry? Oh, yeah. yeah you, don't, you don't taste it. And it just helps pull the minerals out. So I'm going to put this water in. I'm trying to find the... There it is. Right here. Can you see that? Mm. Maximum cup. I go a little bit under that. Under the maximum. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put my lid on. And you guys, if you don't have a pressure cooker, that's fine, Instapot. This is an XL brand. It's the same as an Instapot. Um, you can put this in a crock pot or on the stove, start it to boil, then turn it on low and cook it overnight. Or for at least eight hours, if you start it early in the morning, the better. So you wanna make sure it's locked. I wanna put it on pressure. Now I wanna see, I may need to do, I usually do canning. There. I let it go into canning because that's my longest pressure cooked timer. And then I check, I check the broth after two hours and I may put it on the um, stew soup and get it super high pressurized one more time. Um, but that's the longest I can put it through is the canning um, one. So. Let's just lock it in. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Anyway, you guys, we'll come back when it's bone broth or when we, nope, we're not eating. Oh, that's another thing, you guys. Um, I think we're gonna make I'm not sure what we're gonna make, but we'll come back in the next segment for that, you guys. Anyway, that's how we make our chicken bone broth. And we do the same with beef. And how long does it usually take to make it in a pressure cooker? Well, I put it on canning, and I do it for two hours on my canning. Oh, that's it, just two hours. And for On my canning, and I have it on pressurized. Oh, okay. That's how I do it. Okay, you guys, today's menu, pretty simple because we have 500 calories thereabouts to work with today, and I have some leftovers that I'm gonna use. So I just pulled apart all the um, rest of the thighs that I cooked, my chicken thighs, no skin, six ounces. I'm gonna make three eggs, probably scrambled with chicken meat. I'm gonna have a cup of my uh, coffee with a scoop of collagen and some coconut almond Khalifa milk. Harry's having a ground beef bowl with five ounces of ground chuck and I, three eggs. I don't want mine scrambled. Well, of course not. That's why I always cook them separate. Separate. One scoop collagen, two ounces Khalifa almond milk. Oh, one thing I forgot to add is I'm gonna put like a teaspoon of butter, just a dinky teaspoon of butter to cook our eggs in. So mine will probably be right at 500 or a little over. 1% carbs for a total of 1.1 grams, 44% fat for a total of 22.8 grams, 62%, excuse me, 55% protein for a total of 62.8 grams. My pans are, are non-stick, so I really, really don't have to hardly put any in there. I'm just gonna barely put a little bit in there. Harry is gonna have 1% carbs for a total of 1.1 gram, that's from the eggs. 57% fat for a total of 35.7 grams. 42% protein for a total of 58.8 grams. His calories are a little higher because of the ground chuck. 569 calories, you guys. More or less. Something I forgot about last night is I made ice cream. I made uh, cookies and cream ice cream. The good news about keto chow, you guys, if you make it the night before, it gets thick and it gets richer in flavor if you leave it overnight in the refrigerator. If yeah, you, well, I don't understand If you want to make ice cream for at night, you can make it early in the morning and refrigerate it, but that ice cream is going to be perfectly fine to do tomorrow instead. I made a double batch, so we'll wait until tomorrow when mom comes. We're not having any ice cream today. I've got my um, beef broth cooking. No, it's chicken. Chicken, chicken broth. Chicken broth, 
chicken bone broth in my uh, pressure cooker. Um, and we're going to have that. Harry's like, man, that smells good. When's it going to be done? Yes, it's going to be delicious because we're cold, you guys. It's like 68 degrees in here. I got boots on. I got, I've been wearing my, um, yeah, look at my uh, all hoodie. Well, these little boots are super warm. Um, wore my moccasins yesterday. So it's like with socks. So I know it. You know, heat, hot and cold is relative to where you live, you guys. Our blood's really thin because we used to live in uh, Washington State for almost 20 years. And trust me, we would be jumping for joy wearing shorts at 68 degrees if we lived there. Oh, yeah. The average warm temperature was T-shirts. degrees. That would have been T-shirt oh, yeah. and, and shorts. shorts. Flip-flops. Yeah. But here... Um, we have acclimated. We've been here over seven years now, and it's cold, you guys. Woo! -hoo! So I'm wearing, you know, Harry's wearing all of his long shirts I bought him and sweatpants, and we're wearing shoes in the house. Next I time, you, next time you go, you buy me long sleeve shirts. Yeah. Don't buy me a bag of the same color. Well, I did. I bought you na three navy, three dark, and three light gray. Three dark gray. I bought you two navy pants. Two gray pants and some black pants. Mm -hmm. Sorry, they're on sale. Well, I know it's great, but you know, I, I and need you to, only wear them. I need to you, put some graphics on them or you something. Only, you only wear them a little bit, you know, this time of the year. But I won't wear slippers in the house. I'll wear my moccasins or I'll wear comfortable shoes. But if I go in and out of the house all the time, and I just feel better if I don't have house slippers on. I may, I need a pair of Uggs. Oh my God, I had a pair of those. They, I, Harry didn't like them. I didn't like them at all. Yeah, but anyway, you guys, that's what we're having today. We'll come back, you guys, uh, in the next segment. We'll come back and share our bone broth with, uh, with you guys and show you how we store it and that kind of thing once it's all done and cooled off. But I think we're going to have hot off the press, delicious bone broth when it's done because it's almost 11 o'clock and we'd like some bone broth please. Right, Harry? Yeah. So we'll see you guys in the next segment. I want some right now. I know you do, but Can I we just open it, it up and no, have some? I don't want to release the steam. I want it to, I want it to be good bone broth. Well, I don't want none of that stuff in the box. I know. Oh, we're not having that. You're having homemade. You just have to be patient. Patient, Harry, patient. Just like with your steaks, you got to wait five minutes with your steak. you got to wait till the pressure cooker's done. Mm-hmm. Okay, everybody. Yeah, no. See you in the next segment. I think you should have had some on the side, though, just in case. <laughs> hey, everyone. I want to come back to everybody because, you guys, I have some results from the November kicking it up a notch. You guys have been gracious enough to let me know how much weight you guys have all lost and if you guys were on the kicking it up a notch. Now, I've shared information for other people throughout this month. These are the people that I just found within the last um, 24 to 48 hours or so. So if I don't call your name, I probably already called you guys and, and uh, congratulated you guys as well. So Irena, she lost 11 pounds total doing the kicking it up a notch in November, you guys. Woo! Irena, you go. It's Irena or Irena, and I apologize. I'm not sure which one it is, but that is so awesome, you guys. Cindy O lost 6.6 .6 pounds in November, kicking it up a notch. Woo! You go, Cindy. You guys. Wendy Austin has lost a total of 42 pounds since July. That is an awesome amount of weight to lose. Wow, way to go, Wendy. Woo! Diane T has lost 7.7 .7 pounds in November's Kicking It Up a Notch Challenge too. Woo! You go, Diane. Holly lost six pounds in November. Woo! You go, Holly. Now, you guys, Pat O is at her new all-time low, you guys, and she lost it in November. Woo! And Judy R is 
also at her all-time new low. You guys, she only has nine more pounds to go to hit her goal. Woo! That is so awesome because you guys, 7.7 pound loss in November on the Kicking It Up a Notch Challenge. Hey, Judy, I bet you if you stay on the Christmas Crunch Challenge, you'll be there in time for Christmas or New Year's. Wouldn't that be fabulous, you guys? Hey. Huge congratulations to so many of you who uh, came along with us on Kicking It Up a Notch in November. I hope you guys are doing the uh, December Christmas Crunch with us. And today, you guys, just remember it's an OMAD day. Try to get as close to 500 calories if you can. If not, take at least 100, 200, you know, uh, lower your caloric intake today just to give your body a little shake up. Shake it up. Shake up your metabolism, you guys. Anyway, I just want to say congratulations to everyone who lost weight and who's doing fabulous. And you guys, if you're on a temporary weight loss stall like I am from Thanksgiving, it's easy for me to gain the weight. It's not easy for me to lose. So I'm right there with you guys. So um, we'll do this and let's do this together, you guys. It's bone broth time. Oh, and I am so excited. Let's take a peek, you see. Let's take a look at everything. See, there's some skin on top. Ooh, yeah. I just want to taste this and see if I want to pressure cook it for a little bit longer. Let me get a spoon so I can taste. The longer it cooks, the better. Like if you can do it longer. super hot. I can feel the heat going into my face. Oh, that is so good. Mm, 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 mm. Man, nothing like homemade bone broth. It's the best chicken soup. Here, here I want you to taste it. Hey, you guys, Harry and I are both hungry. It's 1230, so we're going to push through with some bone broth, man. I'm just going to have about a half a cup. And then I'll leave the lid off so it can cool down a little bit so we can get this all strained and put into jars and in the refrigerator for later, you guys. But nothing like a fresh, hot cup of delicious homemade bone broth. You gotta read the front of my cups. What does this one say? Just as is coming to Tombstone. Those are the boys. That's the gang. And then here's this one says Outlaws or whoops, never mind. <laughs> I forgot oh. about that one. Well uh, outlaws are well hung in tombstone. Th that's the, my cup. That's right. With this, with this, with this rope. Yeah, that's it. Because they hang them high on the rope. Yep. In tombstone. Yeah, that's where they made that movie oh. Tombstone. You yes, know, Ken Russell it is. and all that stuff. Kurt and Russell. Kurt Russell. Yes. Yeah, in the actual town where. Yep. Where tombstone. It's at. Yeah. That's where they Pretty. made it. That's where it's at. Anyway, you guys, we're going to enjoy our bone broth now. Ooh, man, that's so nice. Mmm, smells good too. Oh man. Hey everyone. It is time for us to break our fast fast and eat, man. Eat. Six ounces. Get this going here. Get some eggs. get three eggs. Now 
Sally hasn't had eggs in a while. Is there a spoon over there, Dad? Sally, you want some egg? Eggy? Yeah, she hasn't had eggs in forever, Pop. Sit down. Look at that. Yeah. She loves egg yolk. Yes, she does. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, baby. You wash my hands real quick. Get the eggs in. Uh, refrigerator. I get six ounces of chicken. and heat it for me. Ooh. Ouch. Here, let me get a hot pad. Can you... There we go. We'll be back when it's eggs, you guys. Sorry, folks. We had a lot of stuff happen. My daughter brought over, for those of you who don't know, my dad was born and raised in Pascagoula, Mississippi, was raised on Southern cooking. And you don't let a good turkey carcass go to waste. You make turkey gumbo. So my daughter, Felicia, made homemade turkey gumbo, white rice, pecan pie, and brought over a care package for my mom to have because we can't have it because she uses a roux when she makes her turkey gumbo. But it looks delicious so she just left then uh we came back to try to get more done and prime came and rang the doorbell some christmas presents presents were delivered and stuff so i apologize that for that you guys um harry and i are getting some very hard eggs <laughs> as a result of that how long have you been sitting in there now oh uh, i don't know 30 minutes something like that Felicia's like, I'm just going to stay for a minute. And then she sat down and started talking, and I pulled the eggs off and put them to the side. So we're having some pretty, pretty hard-boiled eggs, you guys. Pretty hard-boiled. But that's fine. I don't care. Yeah, that's all right. We had our broth, you guys. That broth is so good. Oh, my gosh. It was so delicious, wasn't it, Harry? Yep. Tasted yummy. And there you have it, you guys. I am having six ounces of turkey and three eggs. And Harry's having an egg and beef bowl. And this is our one and only meal today, you guys. Yep. This be it. So, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close out this vlog because I've got to take the food after I eat to my mom and get her settled so she has it. And then Harry and I are going out. I've got to do a return, a Christmas present return. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and log out for the night. Hey, thank you for being here today. Don't forget, you guys, tomorrow is day three. It's Thursday. It's a 16-hour fast, two meals, no snacks. Use your bone broth. You can have collagen if you like. Okay, everybody, day three. If you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell so you guys get notified of any new vlogs that we have out. Give us a thumbs up. That helps our channel grow, puts us up to the front as far as the algorithm is concerned in the YouTube world. And we'll see you tomorrow, day three, Christmas brunch, you guys. But gotta eat now. Good night, everyone. Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. ready. Good night. Let me cut this out.